Okay, we're in part 20 of Link's Awakening, and I am getting caught up because the last couple days I have not been present to be able to do recordings, so I forgot completely where I was. Wow, son of a gun. I did knock that pillar down. So I got one of them. I got that. Ah! Dang it. Okay, that's no big deal. that he didn't throw a bone at me. It's all right. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, the upgraded sword definitely helps in these situations. Farfic Nugans! Dang it! those stupid laser sh shots. I don't have a key. Oh, of course you can't jump on those, so... of some kind, I guess. Okay, taking those stairs down aren't really going to help me. So, I don't know. I don't know what I need to do. Poop! Darn respawning enemies that I can't do anything about. figure. Okay, there he goes. It's a key. It better be a key. <laughs> no! Stupid stone beak! Alright. Let's try again. Alright, so I read this question online. It was, you know, looking up stuff to talk about while I'm on here so I don't bore people to death. Which is, you know, what would you do if you were to spend one day as a woman and I think based on all the stories that I hear women tell I would just hide in my house I wouldn't leave that's that's it's pretty much all uh, I would do is just wait for the day to end because you know men are, are pretty terrible what can I say Yeah, I have nothing to follow that up with. Just men are men are, are not kind people towards women. Man, there's been speaking of a lot of people speaking up about uh, plagiarism and stuff and consarnate um, in, in 
different online communities and how they're dealing with it. And, um, son of a gun. All right, that's not going to work. And all the stuff that seems to be going on there, ah, that won't do anything either. It's pretty terrible. There. Ski guys. Um, and I, the only reason I mention that too is because we're talking about, you know, women and how they're treated by men. And, you know, even. I can't remember the creator's name because I've been off of, you know, YouTube and all that stuff for a good long while now. And. And that, that, you know, gay man who created these videos, um, d d just, he was terrible towards women and how he felt they, they treated him. And it seems, it seems terrible that even someone who would potentially be a, an ally to women who's like, oh yeah, you know, like, men can be terrible, you know, still does terrible things and makes them feel less than and and all that atrocious stuff. So anyway, I'm just, I'm grateful that person has deleted their presence online, albeit clearly with the intent that, you know, uh, that they want people to not, they don't want to face accountability basically, but, um, Still, it's it's good that their presence is is minimal, if any, online now. So, hooray! There's two done. Okay. Um, shoot, that might not have been what I wanted to do. That's all right. No, I can't get out. Smart move, Matt. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah. Should also point out that in the past, I have not been especially kind towards women. I've had to make changes in my own behavior because of how I acted towards women, um, both in my personal relationships and just in women in general. Uh, part of that was due to my choice to drink. You know, again, this is, the, the ownership is completely on me. Um, but otherwise, you, you know, just, I, I, I didn't have the best take on women and how to treat them and did not have good role models for examples for um, for how to treat women and again this is this is all coming back on me like I take ownership of that um, that I I just should have known better you know um, Trying to figure where we're going from here. Um, but, you know, I think it's also part of the reason why I listen to the feedback that I get from people so often about um, how women are treated and how to not continue to do that. See, why was it so easy to do that, but I couldn't do it before? Um, and I am very open to, you know, ah, son of a gun. I do need to fall down the steps. Uh, anyway, um, you know, there's, so, there's something to be said about like 
my decisions about listening to people after I was so problematic for so long. Um, and I've been through therapy, I have, you know, been to substance abuse counseling, I've made choices about, you know, my career in order to do some work to sort of, um, do some type of act of contrition to make up for, ah, oh, son of a gun, um, to make up for my behavior. And, uh, here we are, so... Just striking out. Come on. So I don't know. Everyone makes mistakes. I pretend not to be, you know, the poster child for what it's right and wrong, but I still. You know, recognize that there's always work that needs to be done, especially within myself. And I would hope that others try to make the same efforts themselves, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things, too, where, you know, people have to want to change in order for it to happen. Uh, I was an addict. I, you know, was, was not the kindest individual towards partners, towards... Um, other people in my life. And so I, I needed to make those changes, is what it comes down to. Oh, son of a gun! Alright, change that to that. Let's try this again. Now that I'm finally making progress. You know, it's it's disheartening this day and age to hear about people that you really like doing stuff like that. And people could say the same thing for me um, about, you know, the behavior that I've taken part in and uh, the choices that I've made. But, you know, I, I think the difference, too, is that I have made the choice to recognize that I was in the wrong for certain behaviors and certain things that I did and that I made the effort to get better. Whereas with other people, I feel like no eff effort was not made, that oftentimes it was covered up or was sort of excused as not a big deal. And I, I think there's something to be said about you know, taking ownership of that and recognizing, like, hey, this was problematic behavior, and I'm making efforts to change what I did and make sure that I don't do that again. Uh, son of a gun. So there are certain artists that, you know, like musicians that I just can't listen to anymore because I feel like they kind of embody the problematic behavior and didn't make any efforts to change. Um, kind of a perfect example of that is the singer from Dance Gavin Dance, because at, at first I was like, oh wow, like he's really sort of taking ownership of it and he's making efforts to ensure that he doesn't do it anymore. And then immediately after he was let back in the band, he was like, oh no, 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 correction. You know, I didn't do that stuff and, you know, don't, uh, don't think that I was admitting that I did stuff like that. And to an extent, I, I understand, like, you know, th it's... There's consequences that can come from accepting, like, super seriously problematic behavior like that. And, you know, legally and otherwise. Oh, shoot, am I not going to be able to do this? Son of a gun. No, you know what? I could do, need to go up this way. So anyway, there's, there's consequences for accepting 
You're rolling doing stuff like that. I mean, obviously, de it depends on the, the situation, right? Um, and I'm not equating what I did to uh, what the singer of Dance Gavin Dance did, but like, you know, being disrespectful, disrespectful of women and not treating them with kindness, I think kind of falls into the same category, in, in my opinion, at least. So, uh, anyway, just to clarify that. But we're, we're hitting the son of a gun, 15 minute mark. So we're gonna call it quits on this episode, part 20. So come on back next time, we'll do part 21, and I'll talk about some more uplifting stuff that doesn't involve hurting people. All right, thanks for hanging around. We'll talk to you again soon.